Hey everyone, I thought I'd tell you about a project I've been working on. We decided to redo the back porch at our house. Uh, we got rid of some old furniture that we weren't using anymore. Got everything cleared out. Uh, decided on some cheap and cheerful IKEA furniture to make it into sort of a lounge area, but we wanted a, a table that we could uh, use as both a desk for an outdoor workspace, but also uh, a table we could use to eat dinner. And um, we wanted it to be fairly thin uh, and long and thin, and so uh, I decided to make that myself. I had some leftover material that I used uh, in a previous project that's some old growth reclaimed pine. Uh, it's about an inch and a half thick and uh, it's really interesting material. It's got a lot of distressing on it. Uh, it's not very flat, but I decided not to plane it because I wanted to kind of keep some of that texture. Uh, and it actually has some splits in it. So the first thing I had to do was kind of make sure that those splits didn't come apart and I decided to use the uh, slab stitcher router template system to put some bow tie patches in there. Uh, never used it before, but uh, really easy if you follow the instructions to uh, get some really nice clean bow ties into the surface. Uh, I used some cherry uh, bow ties that they provided and it uh, looks great. Um, after that, I had to true up some of the edges using a jointer and a hand planer just to try to get it as flat as possible. And then I used a uh, biscuit jointer uh, to join the, the two main sections of the table together. And, uh, and then I put some, uh, some pieces across the end that I cut at a slight angle to uh, kind of finish it off. I also attached those with uh, biscuits and face glued everything up. You know, to finish it, I decided on uh, first a coat of uh, Danish oil, uh, which I like because it really penetrates all the little crevices and kind of seals everything up. Did that on both sides and wiped it off. Uh, and then um, for a lot of outdoor f f furniture, I use a, a mixture of spar urethane and paint thinner just to kind of make it go on a little bit uh, more evenly. So I did about a 25 to 25% mixture of paint thinner and spar urethane. Uh, first I wiped it on with a brush and really got it heavy coated on everything and then I went back and sanded that off at 220. Uh, and then for the next couple coats I put it on with a rag and uh, wiped it off. For the legs, I decided to use some legs I got at Ikea. Uh, they're pretty simple, they just have some casters on the bottom of them, but they are white, and so I decided to paint those. Uh, spray painted them black, and then basically screwed them into the tabletop, and uh, attached the casters, and rolled it into place. And it's been great, my wife's been using it as a desk, and uh, we've eaten dinner on it quite a few times, and it's really uh, a nice piece.